says that you have inappropriate relationships with other women. Do you? Um. Oh, that's a long pause. When Katura and Harrelton met through mutual friends, they thought they had found forever in one another. But now, after four years of marriage and one child together, they say forever never should have been promised. When I'm in the bed with lingerie on, waiting for him to come back home, he wanted to go next door to this bar by himself. And it's like, this is our anniversary night. And I, I, I did, I cried, I did, I cried. It feels good. I'm not going to stand here and lie to talk to someone that has a sensitive tone that can actually no listen. no concept of our reality. Can Judge Lynn help Katura and Harrelton get that forever feeling back? One girl was saying, um, it'll be $50, but we'll have to do it with the condom. Or are the days of their marriage numbered today on Divorce Court? Come to order. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Katura Lewis and Harrelton Lewis. The two of you have been married for four years and you have one child together. You do not want to be married anymore. There are several financial issues you would like for me to resolve, but before we do that, I'm going to start with you, Mrs. Lewis. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're here in divorce court today? Thank you, Your Honor. The reason that I am here today is because my husband cannot leave other females alone. He continues to talk to them and acts like I am just making it up whenever we're talking about it. One of the first incidents was when he um, got into it with me and then I discovered he was talking on chat lines. And the chat lines were all during the day. He works at night. He was talking to them at night. And so I forgave him for it. I said, okay, all right, fine. That to me, that's cheating because it's an emotional attachment that you have with these females. But unfortunately, that, that wasn't the only thing that he was doing, but I didn't know it at the time. So recently here, Mother's Day, my husband took me out, me and my baby went out, had a good time. We were all tired and sleepy. Then he wanted to talk about some bills. I was very short and to the point with that because that's just the type of person that I am. But he wanted to talk more. You were short and to the point with that. With the money. Tell me what that means. Well, what that means is he wants to go around the bushes, through the valley, over the woods, or however you do it, to discover how we are saving money. So I pointed it out. This is this. That is that. What more is there to say about it? Mm -hmm. And he got a little bit upset about it. Okay. But Now, did you really say this is this and that is that, or was it... Look, this is this, no. that is that, <laughs> and I don't want to talk about that. it. It wasn't that. Okay, we got two main issues here. I'm gonna start with number one. The first is, she says that you have inappropriate relationships with other women. Why don't you respond to that? Do you? Um. <laughs> oh, that's a long pause. Guilty. Very long pause. <laughs> There's reasons. There's reasons behind all this. Okay. Um, so, I, I, so that's a yes, correct? Yes. You do I have do. inappropriate relationships. Um, yes, I do talk okay. to other women, but I did. I just they're non-sexual. Non-sexual, yes, yes. But they're intimate as far as conversation. Conversations, right? Okay. All right. Um, and you say there's a reason. It is a reason. Um, I love my wife. Mm -hmm. Um, she's not depositing anything into my love account. And I've been pouring out so much in hers to the point where I feel empty. And mm -hmm. her attitude and her anger is like over the chart. And um, I'm just tired of not being able to talk to my wife and open up. I'm very sensitive. She's mm -hmm. not. Yes. She's more of a person like yes, get over it, move on, just move past it. That's not me. I call her heartless because she's so straight to the point sometimes. It's like she knows when to, she knows what to say. She knows how to say it to hit below the belt. And it feels good. I'm not going to stand here and lie to talk to someone that has a sensitive tone that can actually listen. And no listen. concept of our reality. Okay. What is your reality? Our reality is that every day he's talking about money. Are you struggling with money? Is that, is that an underlying I'm ish, everyday to issue? With money. I'm, I'm afraid to struggle with money. My goals for my family is to not be living paycheck to paycheck, struggling. And she knows these things. And, you know, Maybe I'm old school to the mm -hmm. point where the man m makes the money and the woman pays the bills, but we both work, so I give her credit. I'm not going to stand here and say, you know, she's a bad person, but she's because she's not. 
It's just that when it's time to communicate, we don't know how to do does that. Does she spend too much money for she your does. taste? I have, a, I have a wonderful wife. I, I, I mean, she don't go to the malls and buy up, you know, the whole store or anything like that. But sometimes I, I want her passion for it to be almost something similar I, I, as I, mine. Mr. Because... Lewis, if, she, if she's making money and not spending too much money and she's cool with you saving money and putting it wherever, what else do you need from her in the money department? I don't need nothing. I don't need. I just. I want her to be. I want. I want it to be as imp important. Uh, important to her as it is important to me. You say she's insecure. However, I understand from what you wrote me that you indeed say there are other women you could sleep with when you get mad at her. You 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 you, you let her know that there is somebody else out there will who will in fact you know, service you. I, I was wrong, and I mm -hmm. said that out of anger because. Um, it's not necessarily him saying it out of anger. It's the actions that are followed behind that. But tell me some of the actions that you Some of the actions. Some of the actions. Well, tell me what he does that makes you believe he's cheating on you. Okay. Some of the actions are when we moved into our brand new home. Nice house. He was excited about it. I was excited about it. Two weeks into that, we were selling some furniture online. He asked me to go in and post some pictures, and he sent them to me via email, so I checked the email, but his account just so happened to be open. Now, mind you, I have trust issues with this mm -hmm. man, so of course I'm going to look at the account. Right. And I didn't see anything in the inbox, but then I go and look in the sent box, and there's all kind of this, see, see me here, this is sexy, come and look at it, all these little titles. And so I'm, I'm looking on them, and I, then I realize he's answering personal ads. All these other females who are out here, he's telling them, ooh, I like what I see. And how about, oh, one girl was saying, um, it'll be $50, but we'll have to do it with the condom. So he says, his reply, that's the only way that we could do it. So how am I supposed to sit back and believe that nothing Miss, has ever Mr. Lewis, you had that going on? <laughs> that did happen, yeah. <laughs> it's embarrassing, but it did happen. You say that you believe she's insecure, but that's something to be pretty insecure about. When divorce court continues, does Katura take her trust issues with Haroldton too far? I can understand being mad, but she takes to a whole nother level. You know, she calls my job. What were you calling his job about? Is the ink on your marriage license barely dry, but you're already ready to call it quits? Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Katura Lewis, who is divorcing her husband because she says he has emotional affairs with other women. But is Katura giving him reasons to stray? I'm, I'm just tired of arguing. I'm tired of always having to defend myself. I'm tired of going through the phone lines. D does she have anger issues? She really do. Are you? Like, do you seriously. feel unable to speak to her without her popping off? I really do. I'm, 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 I'm traumatized, basically. You're traumatized. <laughs> yeah. Mrs. Seriously, Lewis, did you traumatize your husband? I don't believe that I traumatized him. Yes, we've gotten into arguments, hmm. and the way for me to resolve arguments, especially in the beginning of our relationship, was for me to try to leave and mm -hmm. walk out the door, no matter mm -hmm. the time, the hour, the of the You're night. Just out. I'm just out the door. He didn't want me to leave. He would hide my keys and, and everything. Why would I want and so her to be I out would four like start just going nuts and breaking stuff up in the house. But I haven't done that in a long time. This was prior to us. Has being she stopped married. breaking up stuff in the house? She has, but the only thing that <laughs> At, before we were married. It's like it's like He's still married. I can understand be mad, but she takes it to a whole nother level. And um it's to the point where it's uncontrollable. And um uh, you know, she calls my job. She called my boss. I guess she looked through the phone lines and saw. I did. I did. Um, a lot I, of phone calls to this one what, number. What, what were you? I didn't know. It what was were you boss. calling his job about? I didn't call the job's number. That's what he doesn't. Mm -hmm. He keeps saying I called the job. I didn't call the job's number. There were a lot of calls to this one particular number, mm -hmm. and so I wanted to know what was going on because it was all times of the day, all times of the night, and I called the number. It was a cell phone. She answered the phone. Say, hey, yeah, this is. Her, his boss, mm -hmm. and so, um, no, as far as I know, everything is okay. He doesn't talk bad about you. I'm like, okay, great. But there was a one girl at his job that I did call. I didn't, I didn't call her on the job. I called her after the job because this was the same girl that he talked to the night of Mother's, Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. She has no kids. 
when we just got into it in his past history is reaching out to another woman when he feels like I've abandoned him mm. or I haven't given him that affection or that good feeling, that good stroke that he mm -hmm. needs. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to sit here and deny anything. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why this is happening. And the reason she just she just hit on it again is that she's not. I mean, sometimes I need my ego stroke and I'm not mm -hmm. saying that's a bad thing, but my wife shows me no emotionally support, no emotional support. And, you know, Again, I'm, I'm just tired of arguing. I'm tired of I always have to defend myself. I'm tired of going through the phone lines. I'm tired of just feeling like she need to calm down. Ms. She Ms. Ms. Lewis, is a there breath. a whole lot of negativity in your house coming from your direction and you're not able to be enjoyable to be around? That's not true. That's, That's true. not true. It's true. What happened is because he feels this way, he's been feeling this way for years. He won't let it go. I've made feeling strides, way. feeling like I don't show emotion, feeling like I'm you heartless don't. and you that don't. I don't care about anything in the whole wide world. I have a little girl who I adore. I love her to death. I show her affection and I show him affection. But again, he does not see it. It's like it's completely blocked. Tell me something that she does that you don't like that is, is you know, she doesn't pay I, I, attention I, I to you like or regard you. The hand gestures, the hand gestures bothers me. Um, you don't like hand gestures. No. I know she you about it. to smack me then. I mean, she does it a lot, and she talks with her hands, but she's so animated. Yeah, it's like it's like it's over the top, and it's like I get nervous. Like, <laughs> now is she one of these. Yes, 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 yes. Harrelton, yeah. seriously? Yeah, you are. Seriously, Miss yeah. Lewis, you like that? Are you a boy? I'm okay with it. Are you a hot? You're not offended. Are you, is, this, is this you? Is this you? When I get there, but up until that point, but I'm don't patient. Take much for her to get he doesn't. There, he doesn't see it. I am patient. Okay. I lose patience after mm -hmm. a while. When the divorce court continues, can Judge Lynn help Katura and Harrelton by getting personal? He's me, and you're my husband, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm telling you. Let me tell you what goes on. Does Katira need to be a little more affectionate towards her husband? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Harrelton Lewis, who wants to divorce his wife because she doesn't cater to his emotional needs. But can Judge Lynn help their marriage by talking about her own? I want my husband to know the end of the world is coming. So I go over to him and I say, Eric, baby, let me tell you. And then it's this, there's this, there's this. Tell me about the fourth anniversary trip. All right. We were in Panama City Beach, right. and he left me the night of our anniversary while I'm in the bed with lingerie on, waiting for him to come back home he or come to upstairs. He wanted to watch the game. No, no, he wanted to go next door to this bar by himself. And it's like, this is our anniversary night. And I, I, I did, I cried, I did, I cried. You got but mad and you wanted to leave. I did, I got mad. Now, now Mr. Lewis, you claim you want a softer woman. You claim you want more communication. She, you guys go on a trip together and then you leave her alone <laughs> in the bed in lingerie. How are you facilitating your own needs by that behavior? By me leaving to go next door to the bar. I just wanted my own little space at the time. I feel that. But, 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 but I, I'm, I'm not quite a, sure I, I understand. You want to be closer to her. This seems like a time to be closer to her and you want to leave. Right now, I don't know how to show my feelings towards my wife in the mail anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and by me saying that, it's like, even right now, she looks beautiful. I, I, I want to tell her that, which I just did, but I almost have to force myself because, you know, we're not there. We have so much other issues going on where I don't feel that. What are the other issues? I'm a talker, like I said, I have to, I have to talk these things through. And a lot of the, a lot of the reasons why I'm doing what I'm talking, not to say it's right, because I know it's dead wrong. It's because I don't know how to let go of those things that we've been through. And it's like, in order for me to move past it, we have to, I need to talk about it in order to get an understanding and know how to you know, drop it and, 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 and be done with it. She's not that person. She think, okay, well, we are just you, had- Are you a big worrier? You don't feel safe and secure? And, and you got a lot of stuff going on in your head all the time and you can't make it stop? Yeah. 
he's me. I'm and sorry. you're my husband, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm telling you. He's me, and you're my husband, Eric. Let me tell you what goes on. I got one of these brains that goes around and around, and it finds a worry over here, and then it takes a worry over there, and then it takes a worry over there, and it winds it up. And by the time we're through wrapping that sucker up, it's the end of the world. Mm -hmm. And I want my husband to know the end of the world is coming. Right. So I go over to him, and I say, Eric, baby, let me tell you. And then it's this, there's this, there's this. He's like shell-shocked, and it, it, it's constant. and. And we used to argue about it because I couldn't stop. Right. And he, he he couldn't receive all of that negativity. He just said, oh, 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 you know. <laughs> Both of us had to change. You have to define your conversation. You have to know where you're coming from. I know where I'm coming from crazy. I said, oh, I know this is crazy. <laughs> And what that allows him to do is to sit back and receive it. And when you, once you've said it and you've gotten it out, it's, I hear you, baby. It's not going to be a problem. We're going to work it out. Tell me one thing I can do to make you feel better. And you do that one thing. And you tell her one thing. She can't stop. Right. It's not her fault. Right. She didn't do all of that up there. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> When the divorce court continues, is Harrelton flying too high for his own good? Not only is it him trying to express himself, but he has this whole, what I call a Superman complex, but he has Lois Lane feelings about it. Does Katira need to be a little more affectionate towards her husband? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Divorce Court returns with the case of Katura and Harrelton Lewis, who are divorcing after one child and four years of marriage. Not only is it him trying to express himself, but he has this whole, what I call a Superman complex, but he has Lois Lane feelings about it because he's always want to save somebody else. That's why he has all these extra friends because they have issues. His ex going through a divorce for this exact same reason. Because it makes reason. him feel, it makes needed. him needed. feel needed. Needed. like he's needed in the yeah, morning. Yeah, it makes him feel stronger in because he can fix something. Yeah. And that makes him feel better and about I'm the not worries the type that he of girl has. who just has all these extra issues because I'm living in this moment with us as a I family. I get it. 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 I, I, get, I get it. I get it too. I just want her to just we need to meet each other halfway. You need cognitive therapy, both of you. You need to be able to change how you do business because you're both good people, you both want reasonable things, but you don't know how to meet each other's needs Need, while right. you're getting your needs met. You need someone to help you through the steps and processes of how to behave. That's what you need. Okay. Cognitive marital, th cognitive. <laughs> Make sure it says cognitive on the door. <laughs> Before you walk in, you know what I mean? Right. And I understand your pain. I do. My husband, he suffers so greatly with me. You know, and, and I know you're trying. Mm -hmm. And I believe I you're trying. trying. Yeah. I'm kind of numb right now. And, and yeah, yeah, because you, you, you're just undone. And it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of yeah. pressure. The egg it, stuff. It, it, yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's just too much. You, you know, you hard to deal with on the regular. You don't have the right to bring in exes or others. You just don't. And if you don't feel right or well, go, go, go to the therapist or go to her. But don't bring any of that in there. Don't tell her about it because she can't get soft when she's scared. And, when she, and she gets scared when you go elsewhere. So that's, that, that is exacerbating your problem. So that's the one thing you can control and you can't do. And if you can't do that, then you step on. Yes, ma'am. You know what I mean? You step mm -hmm. on if he can't do that part of it. And then you can work on the rest of it later. But that has to stop. Do you understand yes, me? Uh, I'm not even going to talk about the money because I'm tired. <laughs> I don't, and, 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 and I got to go figure out how much of this my husband's going to hear. Right. Uh, and I think you two should go home and try to work it out. This matter is adjourned. Good luck to both of you. All right. Party, should we leave the courtroom? Since the show, Harrington and I have decided to work on our marriage. Um, we have gone to counseling, and we are definitely taking the advice of Judge Lynn and trying to work on our communication. When he's at that crazy place, and he needs to tell me that he's about to come from crazy, he actually has done that. In the future for us, I hope that 
we can continue to be a family, uh, raise our daughter together, love each other, uh, support each other, respect each other, uh, and go from there.